body baby his body baby Hey y'all, what's going on? Okay. Yeah, my little jaw is swollen over here. And that's why I didn't come on yesterday and talk about a motherfucking thing other than do them little videos off the camera that I did on Twitter because I was so motherfucking over what I had been watching. But I had to, y'all, and it's affecting my fucking attitude. Like, I think it's sinus and that too because I'm just like, bitch, the fuck? Just when I'm getting my motherfucking skin halfway on deck, you know, I'm beginning to start to get it. You know, get it together. Anyway, and this shit hurt like hell. So, with that said, let's move forward. <clears throat> so, I'm watching motherfucking basketball hoes of L.A. Now, we're going to pay last week motherfucking dust. Even though I know they, that's the beginning of Tammy and Duffy and they bullshit. And, that, girl, I don't know how it goes in video town, but that was a wreck. And I just think, Tammy, just stop trying to work with it, with people. Get somebody else, honey. Do it yourself because you always going to be ready to punch somebody in the face. But that's not what we in here about. What I'm in here about is the fact that apparently it starts out, you have Angel. She's having this whole thing. And you know she has crazy-ass Jackie Christie to motherfucking be a sponsor whatever she's getting it together the other angel want to go meet her they went to this place and this is what the fuck i'm starting at this what it is they go to the little place to see the acrobatics and i'm i'm looking myself but when the two bitches now when the two bitches did the motherfucking splits in the little hoop and was coochie the cooch i said now angel was like girl i start feeling some kind of way bitch i didn't i instantly when y'all went in there and all them splits and shit folks was doing, I instantly went to, I hope all of these whores didn't mop their coochies, honey. That they didn't wash these asses. Otherwise, I was like, oh, God, I bet. Oh, mm -mm. y'all know that's the first thing I think. And when they was coochie to coochie, I said, honey, Simon on Simon, I don't know. But I was like, kudos to you bitches, honey. And old girl who did the three six and all of that, like, and she had the most beautiful skin, too. And I would, I mean, you know, a bitch wish she could be that motherfucker flexible. But I need to know that y'all all that flexible and it wasn't tuna rich in there. Okay, I want to make sure about That goes, yeah, for me, y'all. I know y'all probably like muscle up every time you, yeah, why, it goes with it, okay? Anywho, so they sitting after it's over with, I was like, oh, it's going to be fabulous when they go in there and do that. So she was like, oh, I got so much in my mind. I just don't, this is going, this, that, and the third. And the other angel's like, girl, I'm here for you, you know. And I'm like, okay, good, good, good. She's there for her. She's there for her good Judy. So why do they have, good, listen, why the fuck do the kids in the cul-de-sac always got to be so motherfucking loud? I like kids. I love kids. And I love them outside playing versus being on the computer or whatever. But, uh, anywho. So, it's like, girl, I don't know. But you had yours. And she's like, whatever, girl. I put it on the burner for you. You know what I mean? I would have got you in. I'm here to help you. And I was like, okay, kudos. Okay. So, she says, well, I got to call Jackie and make sure her dress is the way she wanted to be. And she called her there and she's like, Jackie, I'm just confirming that you want to wear the little fishtails, the knees is close. Jackie goes into some, I don't know, the bitch just flips out a little bit then on the phone, hug up on that shit. But she did ask her and she's like, don't have me in the wrong dress and have her looking girl already insecure on the motherfucking phone she's asking you double motherfucking checking and making sure that this is what you want which brings me to where I'm about to go right the fuck down do I need to go to anybody else's shit I, I don't really want to go to any of the other shit I don't want to 
I want to go where the fuck I want to go with this shit. And this is where I want to go. So they get to the motherfucking event. Jackie's there in her motherfucking, um, uh, you know, raincoat or whatever. Her dress is not there, which it should have been there. You know, where it was supposed to be at. The one chick couldn't find it. But I think if Jackie would have calmed down for a second, she might have. But it should have all been prepared in an area where Jackie was told to go to get her motherfucking dress. So she gets there and she's going to get the motherfucker on and she can going do the shimmy. She's like, is it unzipped like the motherfucker ain't fit? Now, bitch, she asked you. Bitch, she asked you. You get it on and they, you know, zip it up and you feel like it's choking you. It's tight, but you're going to push through because you said you was going to be there. You're going to push through. But I already know which way this is going from the phone call plus. Bitch, prior to that, you and uh, Miss Brandy went and you went and had your, your energy read and she said something to you about your uh, liver and this, that, and the third girl. I don't know what's going on with you and I just really don't care. I tried to overlook you, bitch. I, I promise you. I was like, see, y'all, I don't know. I'm able to overlook Jackie. I, you know, and I can see other folks. Bitch, I knew. Your sibling ass and the rest of them hundred motherfuckers that live in your head and in your body, bitch. Them motherfucking entities, bitch. Them demonic demons that live in you, bitch. I thought they had exercised your ass, bitch. I thought they threw the motherfucking holy water on your ass, bitch. But I see you need a full bath in that water. You need to be weighed in it. Anywho... So, you get the motherfucker on, you go out, you look and you know, you do your best. She told you, you on the phone, she said, you got to lift and hold the dress up, this, that, and the third. And you're going down the steps to help you go through. Now, this is where I do agree with Jackie. Her stuff should have been out there. And the fact that it was on the floor or whatever, which to me was just staged, as far as I'm concerned, on production's end, just making, drumming up drama. Say what you want to say, Shiny, about you not wanting to be drama. That's what your show thrives on, bitch. Other than that, we don't want to see it. We can go to their Instagrams. I'm just saying. I'd like for them to be another way, and I would like to see that side of it. You know, but girl, come on now. It was just, I don't know, y'all felt like that was there to get it started. And if it wasn't, whoever the party planner was, should have, uh, whatever, should have had that shit together. You mean to tell me you got all of these different bitches escorting motherfuckers in, but you can't put all the shit up? And then when Jackie goes, it's like, we never heard of that. But yes, yeah, she's sponsoring some of it. Like, I get, I get that. I get that part, Jackie. That's all I get from you. Then, girl, you instantly, you go get your drink. You done started. You done had drinks. Doug has been gone, bitch. You know, you cuckoo and a motherfucker. So, a couple of people show up. And I'm trying to think, who showed up first? And I must say, Miss Duffy, I don't usually go for that shit that string and everything out. But bitch, you killed that motherfucker dead, bitch. You did that. But I have to say, for the evening, who took it? Was that angel the one with the small ways, bitch? Whatever you put on, you kills it. I got to give it to you, bitch. I got to. But I do have to remind you of this, though. Because on the last episode, you was like, oh, my videos were tasteful when you was talking to Tammy, this, that, and the third. One girl, even without what Miss Honeycab has showed her, you say, oh, that's the three six is cute. Girl, stop. Just be true to who you are, boo-boo. Ain't nothing wrong with you being a nurse and popping and snapping. You know, but let's let come on, come on. Let's let's just do that. Anywho, on for was she to me was killing her gal. Um I mean, you know, everybody looked cute, but except Jackie. Now, Jackie, bitch, y'all, if y'all have ever seen, have y'all ever seen Still Magnolias? If you haven't, go watch that shit. 
there's a part on there where they at this Christmas party and one of the ladies is talking about one one of the other ladies and you know how she be nah it's at the wedding and she got this dress on and that bitch look like she coming and going she got the fupa the bufa and all of that going on girl that's how you looked at that motherfucker like bitch how was you gonna get mad at her because you trying to keep up with the angels and the joneses when clearly you cannot there may have been a moment when you could and here's my whole thing, bitch. You don't look bad at all for your age. But I know what it is. You nervous, honey, because you know something like an angel could get dug. Hmm. But we got to move forward. Because Anthony could, too. Or uh, Al Albert or, uh, you know, any of either side could get it. I'm just saying, you know. I mean, you know, you know that's how y'all do. That bitch. But I understand you getting a little upset. And girl, don't act like your husband don't like him. A little Albert or a little Anthony or Ant or any of that shit. Just staying in line with the A's and the Angels. Don't do it. Anywho. So, yeah. So, you all in your feelings when folks come. You getting up. Oh, look at you and you. And you get up and give Duffy all shit. And you was like, yes, bitch. You came with the body, bitch. Boom, give it. You know, and that's how I would have been. Yeah, my nose has been itching. Anywho. So, as people start coming, I look up. You got Brandy there. And here comes Sunday Carter. Really? To add insult to motherfucking injury. Why did y'all dig that bitch out? What garbage can did y'all have in the front and get Sunday Carter up out of, honey? Here she comes. She look cute in her little dress. But you know, she look, She gave what she could give. You know, she did look cute. That ain't never been a problem for Sunday Carter. She is a cute girl. Like, bottom lag, you know. Uh, So, Brandy at one point gets up. She goes and talks to um, her bestie, honey. Then they call Jackie over. Jackie, and Jackie, bitch, that whole thing where you was trying to tell ben Brandy, like, I'm not going to even do it. This is her thing. I'm not going to say it. Bitch, you need that motherfucking drama, bitch. You thirsty whore. You always trying to make yourself the center of fucking attention, and you're a fucking joke. But, bitch, tonight, or last night, really, that was your best performance ever, bitch. You are the joke, bitch. When I look in the motherfucking dictionary, bitch, that's your picture. A picture you spawned out looking like a broken motherfucking trophy on the motherfucking floor, bitch. I can't. Mm-mm. So you like, well, what it is, you know, when I came here, it was this way. And old girl was like, well, I'm sure she's not the one that put it in there. She's not even here. So you may be getting upset about nothing. You know, talk to the person that did it. You know, and, and she doesn't know about it. Then this bitch said, well, I think, I think, I think she's using me. She's using me. Which one of y'all she using, bitch? The fuck out of her, bitch. You use it up. Oh, child. Mm -mm. Time goes on. She's feeling her motherfucking self. She realizes that the other angel that came through, honey, given everything she hoped and dreamed she could have gave. She done already made reference of her football. She done asked everybody how the dress look. And y'all notice everybody's pause was like, the dress is pretty. It's cute. I like the dress. And that was called, well, bitch, I like it, but not on you, bitch. I felt that, Jackie. I'm going to tell you, bitch, that's what everybody's face was giving. You know. So, you get all in your feelings and you talking to the angel and you like, you got an attitude with her. She's trying to say, well, you know, what happened? You know, can we, what, you know, what's the problem? So... She's not being aggressive at all. She's trying to see what's going on. And mind you, you talking to her about her good friend like, bitch. But she's still trying to be understanding of what you said. Your motherfucking shit's directed to her because you sitting there the whole time with your drunk ass looking at her like this bitch looking good at her shit. That's what them other motherfuckers is telling you in your head. And... 
you get mad and telling her not to be this way and eventually she's like trying to you know she's trying to talk to you and then at one point bitch you get up and you take you take your shoes off bitch you don't want for her you know Sunday Carter then jumped up Sunday bitch did you not get mopped when you was on, bitch, I, I'm trying to understand. Did you just feel like Angel was somebody you could handle? You know, why was you all over her? Like, what? Bitch, I would have beat your motherfucking ass in my good motherfucking dress. Bitch, I'd have tied that motherfucker in a knot. I'd have been like, hold up, bitch. Tying that shit in a knot, bitch. We would have squared up. The fuck? Bitch, and then you got Jackie's motherfucking ass talking about, I'm going to take my shoes off. Oh, girl said, I'm going to leave. She gets out there to the car. Now, Jackie said, y'all, just to let y'all know how they done drunk this shit up. She said on the couch, so when she come back, and she come back, I'm kicking, like, I'm whooping her ass, knowing that she was coming back. When the girl's sitting there, she's like, why am I leaving? I'm here for my friend. But she was going to leave just to... Bring it down like she ain't never seen this shit. She comes back in and Jackie's like, she's like on the tag mode. That motherfucking demon kicked up in her ass, y'all. That wasn't nothing but evil we saw on the screen, bitch. You fell the fuck apart. And then as the girl's trying to walk away, here's Sonny Carter yet a motherfucking gin out over her bitch. What? Angel girl, I'm not understanding. Now you said the dress is one thing. And trying to keep it cute and ladylike. But bitch, look. That was too motherfucking much. And I have to say, the other ladies, like, you know, was trying to stop her from going on and trying to get Jackie to go another way. But bitch, you should have went on and clocked that whore. What the fuck you mean? And then this bitch is following it through. Jackie's following everybody everywhere. They trying to get her. But when that motherfucking bitch pulled the final coup. And fell out in front. Get this dress off of me. I can't. Oh, oh, Lord. I'm going, bitch, you a crazy cuckoo ass bitch. You are. You insane bitch. And normally, I would have compassion for a bitch they having a breakdown. Because, bitch, really it could be that you going through what the fuck I'm going through, motherfucking beginning of menopause, bitch. And I would normally want to feel for you, whore, but I don't. I don't, bitch. I really motherfucking don't. And I wish they'd have left your motherfucking ass right on that floor. Like, bitch, that shit you tried, you... For no reason you went after that young lady. For no reason. Just jealousy and hatred. That's what drives you. The lack thereof drives you, bitch. You feel like you ain't shit. You trying to hold on to what you got. And I guess she must symbolize how quick he could be gone. Bitch, it's got to be something else, honey. Because the way you went for her, I'm not getting it. And Sonny Carter, you ain't got shit to do with it. Even sitting there and being Jackie's friend, you seen how the shit played out. You should have been trying to calm Jackie down. But you trying to hold old girl. And this is why I found Angel. And I'm trying to understand. I know she ain't got nobody there. And even if the other Angel was there, that bitch ain't got no motherfucking heart. She can't fight. So, Angel, you always talking about you'll do this, that, and the third, and you'll come at anybody, bitch. You was pressed all the way outside, honey. Jackie's trying to chase her motherfucking ass. She's on the floor. Jackie, you are a motherfucking fool, a jerk, a clown. You're a joke, bitch. You a joke. Pull it together, bitch. At this point, I don't know if they can. And on top of that, all the women that you have mistreated, bitch, was right there trying to pick you up and help you. You wasn't worth their time. You really wasn't. Because something is wrong with you, bitch. You are evil and a motherfucker. Something's wrong with you, whore. I need you in therapy seven days a motherfucking week, bitch. And I know we can get in our feelings, get emotional. Anybody can, bitch. But that was a whole nother thing, bitch. The way you was acting... If it was just you and her after them drinks, if you had a knife, you'd have stabbed her, bitch. Because you know you can't fight. Bitch, always talking about throwing hands, but it'll be the first one putting band-aids inside out on your lip on a little scratch, bitch. You ain't built Tonka tough, bitch. You ain't that girl. You're not. 
But bitch, you are psychotic. To me, Jackie needs to be up the show, but she ain't going to work because she's like a co-producer or whatever the case may be. But bitch, you are crazy. And you always talk about your husband. There's no way in the world you didn't embarrass your husband that evening. I need to call my husband. Bitch, now nah, what you need is a motherfucking straight jacket, bitch. Pull away from that alcohol, bitch. They just said you got, you. she just said it looked like liver sarcosis or some shit like that. Pull away from it. Then, bitch, you try to act like you don't drink unless you with them. You a lie, bitch. You a drunk from way back in the motherfucking day, bitch. You in that heavenly. Y'all got that shit in common. I cannot believe what I witnessed on that last night. And I kept saying, Lord, somebody get this girl's back. She was in there to me without nobody. You know what I mean? Like she's trying to get away or whatever. And maybe she thought in her head she don't know what the fuck's going to happen. And then, Jackie, bitch, let me tell you about the other bitch that should have drugged you up out of your motherfucking skin, bitch. That bitch you ran over trying to get to her, bitch. I would have grabbed your motherfucking heel and pulled your ass down to the ground. You walked on that woman. And I would have, bitch. Mm-mm. I just thought about that and got pissed. Bitch, I would have tried to beat your motherfucking eyeballs out your ear, bitch. I promise you. I would try to beat your eyeballs out your ear, bitch. Walk over top of her, bitch. I swear to God. And I felt so bad for that woman. But it was as if it was nothing. Because she really wasn't part of the show, bitch. I would have, oh my God. I would have dog walked your ass, you funky ass, delayed ass, emotional ass, bipolar ass. And no shade to bipolar, bitch. But I'm go I'm not throwing it at anybody to get it. But, bitch, that's definitely your shit. With a little bit of motherfucking schizophrenia, schizoaffective, a hundred motherfuckers living in your body, bitch, you got everything in that medical book. Chiggers, itching, scabies, all of it, bitch, it's yours. And, and I hope nobody takes offense to me saying, you know, bipolar. Because I don't, I'm not, I'm, I'm meaning that this bitch pulled one. And, you know, not to the people who actually, you know, have and deal with this and that and other. And, and y'all know what? You know what? I got to digress on that. No, bitch, you don't, you're not bipolar because that is an actual thing. Bitch, you actually are demon filled. No, 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 no. I said that shit the fuck wrong. Bitch, you are demon filled. We need an exorcism, bitch. I want, bitch, you and Linda Bly. Bitch, I was waiting on your head to start twirling, bitch, and just going around in a circle and shit, bitch. When you walked on that woman, bitch, I wanted to pull your motherfucking soul up out of you and throw that whore to hell where the fuck it belong at, bitch. You walked on that, oh, girl. Oh, my God. I Y'all, I am so pissed about that. And that just flashed before me how that woman was there and that fucking whore walked on her. You know that bitch will make reference to that at some point when she's talking to Doug. And I walked on a bitch. Bitch, I would forever be looking for you. Bitch, I wouldn't stop whooping your ass until I was satisfied. And bitch, guarantee you this. If you walked on me, bitch, nothing but death would satisfy me. Do you understand? Bitch, the only time I'm going to be satisfied and motherfucking content is when I leave her. You done walked on her? And now why the fuck am I in my head thinking, what if the bitch walked on your door? You know, I need to stop y'all because I'm ready to go. Bitch, oh. Oh, y'all. Mm-mm. I would have got medieval on that bitch. I'll bitch on the rack. Twirling and turning your ass, bitch. All of that. Motherfucking. What's that shit with the arrows and shit? I'll bitch. All of that. The motherfucking jousting pup, bitch. I'm telling you. Oh, my God. You walked on that woman. Y'all. Jackie had lost her motherfucking man. Bitch, you are crazy. You need to be in a motherfucking... They don't have houses in place for people that are demonically depressed or not depressed or possessed. Do they have some shit like that? Because the bitch got demons. Bitch, I feel like if I put a mirror in front of you that's coated with holy water, bitch, all them demons will be in the mirror just looking. A hundred of them motherfuckers because, bitch, you are demon-filled. Back to hell, bitch. You need to go back to hell, bitch. 
I can't, bitch. It ain't enough oil. We can't use regular oil. We got to get this Jamaican black castor oil, bitch. We need this motherfucking black Jamaican. Mm -mm. Bitch, we, we need that, honey. Let me get myself because, bitch, it might get on me. I don't want none of your demons and shit on me, bitch. Oh, y'all, I can't. Oh, Jesus, I thought about her walking over that woman, Jesus, y'all, and I'm just ready to come up out my motherfucking skin. I don't know how they do it anywhere else, but ain't, okay, I'm, I'm just going to stop, and we're going to see what happens next week. But Jackie, you are a piece of, of hell shit, like, bitch, you are motherfucking fire and brimstone, bitch, you are so far, you all of that shit that I think is in hell, bitch. You all of that, bitch. I'm not so sure you're not Lucifer. At the very least, bitch, you Beelzebub. I'm, 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 I'm just saying. But anywho, y'all, y'all leave y'all thoughts on that shit. I, what, tell me this. What would y'all have done if you would have been Angel? How would you have handled that? And please tell me how y'all feel about that motherfucking minion, that motherfucking Sunday quarter with her motherfucking stanker dank ass. All on that girl like you ain't going nowhere. Bitch, you'd have been the first bitch I bop upside your head with the motherfucking heel. Bitch, you'd have walked out of there with that heel sticking out your the shoe like this. They'd have been rolling your ass out trying to get that up out your skull. Trying to figure out how to get that motherfucker out without you bleeding out. Bitch, I'm telling you, the bottom of her heel, you know how they used to get taps and shit? On the bottom of their heels to keep them scratching? Bitch, that would have been all brain fragments. Oh, I'm just saying. Y'all tell me y'all thoughts on that shit. It just wore me out. I'm too through with that bitch and that shit. Just tell me y'all thoughts on that shit. Just, just tell me your thoughts on that shit. Now, I'm not here for the bullshit that, that they, that, that just went on. And I furthermore know that this shit is cooked because why was her shit down there? And then beforehand, she's like, she gonna come back in here or whatever. So I'll be ready. See what I'm saying? They know what the fuck's going on. So stop pumping that. You shiny. You not for that drama shit, bitch. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Y'all, tell me y'all thoughts on this shit. I did want to talk about the MTV Awards on this, but I'm going to go to another video and talk about that shit, which really it ain't no whole bunch of shit to be. You know what? We can go on and talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Why did I do it like about that? Um, it opens up with Rihanna. And and Pepto Bismol Pink, you know it was cute. Brianna did a couple of performances, and and y'all, I don't care what nobody say. Britney Spears was horrible. Bitch, what did you have on? That was the worst show, girl, outfit I've ever seen. And stop getting down, girl. You know it's rough to get up. It's nothing wrong with aging. Do what's appropriate for you. You know you've earned whatever recognition they give you. But girl, just do your lane. You know, don't feel like you got to keep up with the Ariana Grande's and all that, which really you surpassed that bitch a long time ago with her non-dancing ass. And speaking of her motherfucking ass, what was the shit with the motherfucking bicycle? And did y'all see the bitch who tried to turn around and stumble? That was fucked up. The whole motherfucking act was fucked up. Adriana, girl, you so skinny, you know, and it sounded like you was out of breath and shit. And I'm like, did the bitch just smoke before she get out there? You know, and then Nicki Minaj comes out there like, bitch, I don't even want to be here. Uh, doodle doodle, hoop hoop hop, whatever, get the bitch the one over and I'm out. She came out there like, bitch, now wait a minute, let's run through it. Rihanna started the show, I'm somewhere in here with this little bitch. And Beyonce's gonna be here, bitch, let me go on and do what I got to, I, mm, oh. And I'm gone. <laughs> That's how the fuck her attitude was. She was like, whatever. Adriana looked like she was so motherfucking intimidated by her. Like, anywho. Um, what else? Uh, what y'all, wait a minute. What's the dude's name future? Let me tell y'all something. Future. And I said this on on Twitter. 
I don't know what the fuck you were saying, but bitch, I was clutching my motherfucking Bible, bitch, because I think you were summonsing demons and shit, bitch. I couldn't understand. How the fuck can they say you got a number one hit and this, that, and the third, and they don't know what the fuck you said? Bitch, if I got to put some shit on and got to read the motherfucker to see what you said and then be like, oh, okay, bitch, please. The fuck did he say? And what was them leggings you had on? Oh, Lord, he had on five red brimstone leggings. I'm not here for it. And I couldn't understand what he was saying, but everybody was like, and was everybody just saying nothing? Just spaghetti, hamburger, ketchup, mustard, just anything. Bitch, I couldn't even get that out of it. I didn't know what you were saying, bitch. I think you were summers and demons. I don't know. Bitch, I can't understand what the fuck you saying, honey. I got to get the full armor on. I don't know, but I rebuke it. Anywho, what else? Um, honey, please let me talk about all these motherfucking hosts. And them two motherfuckers uh, that was on there doing the hashtag shit. What? What? <clears throat> Y'all were not needed at all at no point. Then the dude that was in the corner with the tennis shoes on and the guy that was trying to give jokes and shit. And the sad part about it is this. Here's the shade, y'all. Because everybody was like, it was so boring. It was this, that, and the other. But mainly everybody that was like host were all black. So they're going to use that as an excuse. Watch and see. That's why it flopped or whatever. Now nah, it flopped because it's just a hot ass mess and it's ran its course. You know, and then the hashtag dudes, they was a fool. I didn't know what the fuck they were saying. And why? What were we doing? And, honey, they was letting old girl who was in between and behind the scenes talking, they was just letting her have it. All up and down Twitter, honey. They woke your ass out. Now, I, you know, I'm going to just walk away from this right now and leave that at that. So, then at one point, King Weenie comes out and, and, uh, Said some shit. I don't know what the fuck he meant. I wanted somebody to get that motherfucker off the stage. Get the motherfucking hook. Snatch his ass off of there. Who gives a damn? He was just saying shit. It was like my girl. He he alluded to uh, Amber Rose. And I my girl's cool. This and that and other. Because she'll let me like. Ugh, she's so classy. Did you say classy? Y'all leave it below. Did you say classy? Because if you said that, bitch, I should have punched you in the face through the screen. Oh, Jesus. And that bitch, when Rihanna was performing, was doing a motherfucking snapping shit and, and had her back turned and was snapping it. Bitch, you are so fucking thirsty. You are so fucking thirsty, bitch. I guess you done made up in your mind if it ain't, because you ain't going to never get Beyonce's attention. We know that. Bitch, I don't care how many motherfuckers follow you on social media, bitch. You will not get her attention. And then your motherfucking husband was like, well, you know, I ain't going to worry about him not getting an award. Beyonce got one. You know, he's her greatest fan or whatever. Bitch, you don't feel no kind of way about that? Which you couldn't, bitch, because you, you know, you couldn't. She's still fucking Reggie Bush. She's still fucking Reggie Bush. My husband thinks she's still fucking Reggie Bush. Now, I'm going to tell you why I don't think she fucking Reggie yes, Bush. Is. I think Reggie is happy with the woman he has. I, I think he's glad he, he, he got away from the girl. urinal. He married that girl because she reminded him of her. But he if he really her, loved her. He couldn't, he couldn't do that. Why? They weren't going to let him do it. Mm -hmm. nah. well, that's why he just had got on the team in the league. They weren't gonna, nah, he was in investment to the NFL. He, they, they weren't gonna let him do it. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. It could have been that way, and it was a smart move, honey. Just be glad so, you dodged the trash. So he's still gonna get booty. He thinks he's still fucking. Towel. That's what it is. It has Who's booty? Gonna keep it Are we really gonna call it a booty call? Because it's the plastic call to me. That's, Whose booty is it? You know what? That's what I meant. The mannequin ass. Mm -hmm. It's a mannequin call. He said the mannequin ass. Speaking of that, to add insult to injury, then we go to this video where old girl tore it up, bitch. 
You are body down, honey. Ty, what is it, Ty, mm. Tiana Taylor? I'll tell you what that was. And you were showing her what it really was supposed to be. That bitch gave you everything you needed. Wasn't no real rhyme, no reason to the video. She was just kind of dancing and showing off her body like she didn't work for that shit, huh? Keep an eye on her now. Since she done that, mm. watch, watch what happened. Okay, he said keep an eye on her now. Well, honey, she if damn show gave you what you needed, but then y'all at the end, mm. the symbolism of the sheeps, the dude with the perm, she's on top of him. She got the motherfucking Snapchat filter face. They had the baby there. She got the motherfucking tail on and they and the sheep laying on the sheep. Now y'all can come up with your own symbolism out of that. I got what I got. Mm-hmm. If you know, you know. So basically all you motherfuckers are sheep. Okay. So I'm just saying, get what the fuck you want out of it. I mean, I it was on there. I would never entertain anything that Kanye West does. He got to talking about people who do great things, this and that and other. And, and I was trying to think of any, you know, black business or whatever that was on top that had, that he mentioned he didn't. And then he said himself. Because if you motherfucking think you're going to make it off of them trash bags and shit you got people walking around in. And bitches doing your uh, fashion show hung up and down on other motherfuckers. Bitch, think again. Think a motherfucking again. Please think again. But your ass is lost, bitch. Back to hell you go. Anywho, so that was that whole shit. But Miss Taylor, honey, girl, you was giving a real body, honey. What no bulk shit. She was giving you body. You know, and at one point I was like, girl, you squatting down. Don't let no lips fall out now, girl. Now, girl, we live, ain't we? I don't know. Anyway, so you had that. Then... Let's see, what else? Um, let's just go to Beyonce, who Rihanna started the show, but she ended it. There was no need for anything else after she performed. There was really nothing that could have came behind her that would have been close to what she gave. Rihanna was cute for what she gave. Finally, in the end, her last song was the one I liked the most right before, you know, um, Drake came and everything. I thought that was sweet. And I love that song, you know, that she did. I love that. I don't know the name of it, but I absolutely loved it. Um, it was cute when she did the little work, work, work. And she had all, all the people up there and sisters just being sisters and just, you know, the way sisters do. You know, just being them. And I love that. But, and Rihanna gives you sex kitten regardless. She can't help it. She give it, honey. Kudos to her. She was giving you everything you needed with that. But Beyonce came out, and of course, I'm sure she came because she knew she was getting the Vanguard and stuff like that. But baby, when I tell you she came and said, I will not be doing just no one song. I will be doing my whole Lemonade shit or whatever the fuck I want to do on this motherfucker. And y'all will only hand out five awards tonight. Because they didn't seem to give out that many, honey. She did that. She worked that motherfucking. She, it was over. They could have cut the lights out and shit and unplugged shit. It was done. Whatever came after that meant nothing. Because she had just did it. it, it, it who, you know, what? So, mm -mm. That was it. You know, and I think everybody was looking forward to, you know, waiting on that to come on and see her do her thing or whatever or what have you. You know, so she did it, honey. Nobody else's performance could touch it. And that is what it is. And I imagine the beehive and the rest of them is without edges today. Without no hair at all, no wigs, nothing. Skin snatched, everything. Because she did that. And then she got her award. Um, uh, the the uh, Olympic um, gymnast team gave her award. Oh, girl wasn't there. You know. And... Honey, she just did that. It's just as simple as that. She bought Blue Ivy, had her dressed up in her little dress and, you know, all of that. So she did that, honey. They could have stopped it there for me. You know, they could have stopped it. Like, what else was there to see? I mean, you know, for me, you know. 
But with that said, like I said, I did like that last performance that Rihanna did. That last song, I don't know. I just love that. And I think she did it on another award, and she did that. I say kudos to her, you know. And it was really cute all the way through what she did. It just, you know, a couple of times, as usual, she was off toned and this, that, and the other. And, and, you know, she did do a little bit more dancing than usual. And, you know, what gets me is that when they try to choreograph her, that's when she be stiff. But when she just whining and just getting into her, you know, that island feeling and giving you that, that's when she's getting it. And she's just easy breezy. You know what I mean? So I hope she sticks with that. But all in all, on the scale of 1 to 10, outside of the, the uh, Lemonade performance, honey, it was lackluster. It was boring to me. And it was what it was. Scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 5. That's it. Mm -mm. And, uh, you know, we'll see, I guess, what they come up with next uh, next year. But I just was kind of like, okay. Because once Beyonce did what she did, I was like, okay, well, now who's going to come? What, what are we doing here? Because I don't think there's nothing else that can be done. Like, she had did it all, honey. She shut it down. And I imagine they was all back there like, ain't this a bad a bitch? I got to go on behind, you know, but she did that. So, y'all, y'all leave y'all thoughts. Tell me what y'all liked about the shit or whatever. What did y'all get out of the sheep and the Snapchat shit and all of that? That symbolism. There's a lot of symbolism on it, you know, on the MTV Awards. Simple as that. It was, you know, but what did you get out of that? And I'll leave that shit below. I'm out of here, y'all. I didn't mean for this video to be that long, but I figured I'd go ahead and talk about it while I was on here. I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. My motherfucking jaw is giving me fever. So I'm going to get off and I'm going to watch Love and Hip Hop and try to pick up. It should be coming on in a little bit. Try to pick up with that and talk about that and we'll go on from there. I know I didn't talk about Green Leaf. Because it was really boring to me. It was some things that went on. I just, it was okay. That was it. I did happen to go back and look at motherfucking cutting it in the ATL, honey. And the shade that's going on there with Mufasa. And uh, what she did at uh, Beauty's Hat. Like, ugh, I don't, I don't want to talk about Mufasa. Anyway, I'm out. Y'all leave y'all thoughts below. Uh, we coming up on the last few days of the month. If you haven't, clicked that link below. And get you some Scentsy, honey. Much love.